Therapy Dogs, Gorsebrook, now. Looks like we're going to SMU. So uh, I'm heading to St. Mary's right now to uh, check out these therapy dogs and I swear to God, if I see a husky, I'm gonna die. Check this out, I actually spent one of the best years of my life living right there. Yep, Loyola residence at St. Mary's University. But now it's time to go to the Gorsebrook. So last episode, I shared that I had a solution to the problem that we've identified. So let's start with the methodology. It's called Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, and I made a short little animation for you. Roll it! So what is Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT for short? Well, it's actually the most popular form of therapy today, for a few reasons. The first is it typically has relatively rapid results. Secondly, CBT has an unprecedented track record of research indicating its effectiveness. And third, it's skill-based, which means it takes an educational approach and the client can continue to use the skills, practice and learn to solve their problems in the future. So basically what I'm saying here is that CBT actually trains you to become your very own therapist which then allows you to be ready to go out and tackle the world. Which all sounds great, but how does this actually work? Well, here are the basics. The CBT framework starts off by assuming that it's actually our automatic negative thoughts that lead to unpleasant emotions and then unwanted behaviors. In fact, as people with anxiety already know, this is not a linear process, it's actually a triangle, and it's a very vicious cycle. But that's what CBT helps us do, it helps us break that cycle. 